Hello everybody and welcome to Fritani Facts where I'm going to show you today how to create a typical 80s moving text and for doing this you're going to need Photoshop because I'm going to show you how to create this kind of text and you're going to need After Effects for moving it and so um, you know this is a very easy tutorial actually I'm going to show you how to create this text because if not this will be a very very short tutorial and in case you already know how to create the text or you already have the text that you want to use or whatever just skip this part okay so we go to Photoshop for making our text and we're going to create a new file I'm going to call it text um, we want to add some text on uh, here I'm going to come here we want to write for example um, 80s that's it I love it and uh, this is a font that uh, I found on the internet is called Guardians I think because it's based on the Guardians of the Galaxy film and uh, you know you can just look for it in the, in the internet on dafont.com that is the the web page that I use for finding fonts and it's real nice okay so we're gonna come here um, we're gonna when on the layer on layer and we're gonna come to a uh, layer style um the first thing that we wanna get is uh, this um degrade degrade or um pendant uh, I don't know how it's said anyway um we're gonna come here um actually this one is the typical eighties effect um we're going to actually inverted yes so this looks better and you know this is up to you a little bit of the colors that you want to choose here I'm gonna you can double click in here for changing the colors um, I'm actually gonna put this on a bluish tones this one a little bit more um, like purple and this one over here game blue A little bit, yes. Okay, I think this looks pretty cool. Something like this. So we're gonna press OK, and now we wanna come to um, parallel shadow or parallel shade. We're gonna turn to the opacity to 100, and we're gonna get the distance a little bit forward something like this will be okay yes mm, I'm gonna keep it like that okay <clears throat> and you know in case you wanna put it like you can change the the scale so that it fades a little bit I'm gonna leave it a little bit faded like this and then you wanna come here um, on stroke to have a little bit of stroke and finally you also want to get this one the internal blaze so click on it I'm gonna scale it up a little bit not much maybe opacity a little bit down not much okay so this looks very 80s I like it like that I'm gonna save it so you come here and save and actually um, you can come here and put it uh, export it to a PNG file but I do recommend you to keep it on a PSD format because you know uh, Photoshop and After Effects are both from from Adobe so in case that you export it to to Photoshop and then you made uh, you import it to After Effects then and you want to make any kind of changes in text you don't have to come to Photoshop and change and then export it to PNG import it again into After Effects you just change it here in, in, in Photoshop and it automatically changes in After Effects so we save it okay we come to After Effects um, I got this image from the internet that I really like it's really 80s we're gonna import our file here um, text this is the text that we just created 
So we drop it on top. So this looks really cool. And now we're gonna make the the movement, the typical movement with you know like the one that you that you saw at the beginning. So this is something really simple actually. We're going to um, first you have to to choose where you want the text to to be when it arrives. So I think I want it like there. I'm gonna skip maybe here one second. On I'm going to go to the position. Click on that. I'm gonna go to the first frame. Am I going to draw to um bring it to the out of the screen so that I cannot see it. So we see that we have this animation, but I'm actually going to animate it in a way that you know it, it takes like a curve. So for doing this, you have to select your layer and select the the frames here in the position. And you see this circle over here. Well you can get it over here. Um make it so that you can choose, you know, the trajectory you want you want the text to have. So if you see this line is the is that is the trajectory that the text is gonna have. So it's gonna be a little bit more curved. So in case that happens for for you then the opposite that the text has like a curve and you don't want that or maybe um, so does something strange like it comes over here and then goes back it's probably because that has happened to me actually because you have it something like this so okay well it doesn't happen anything now but um, it have happened to me many times that it did something like that something like it went and came and See, like something like this, and I don't want that to happen. So you have to come here to these dots, and you have to select how you want the the move to be. Okay, so I think this is cool. And now we're going to make them the other text. So this is as simple as just duplicating, and we're gonna come here and we're gonna turn the opacity to fifty, maybe. And what we have to do is now take it and go a frame forward, duplicate it, frame forward, duplicate it, frame forward. That's uh, you know as much as you want. This depends on you. Okay, so I think it's cool like that. So when we animate it, we'll see that it comes. I'm gonna animate it on here, and it appears like that. Um, this is it, much of it is something really simple, this is, you know, the basis on how to do it, that now it's up to you that you play with it, that you try different styles, different, you know, opacities, um, st stuff like that, and you know, if you want to maybe add a moving grid at the background, that's up to you. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, that you found it helpful, um, I hope that you use it and that you send me your results, and you know, in case you want me to show you how to do any other kind of thing just let me know in the comments below and subscribe if, if this was helpful and i'll hope that i'll see you in my next tutorial so see ya